Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I might look a little crazy here because I pretty much only have foundation in my eyes on, but I am so excited. We are going to be reviewing the newest Charlotte Tilbury launch here. And when I saw the sneak peek, I was like, I need this because I'm a huge fan of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer and she has now come out with a new cream bronzer. So I've been really into cream products as of lately and I feel like cream bronzers can definitely be very hit or miss for my skin type. I usually wear a lot of medium to fuller coverage foundations. I have oily skin, so I gotta powder my face. Of course, I did not powder. Now I just put my foundation on. I used the Too Faced Born This Way Matte, which is like one of my favorites. But yeah, I thought we would go ahead and just do a whole video on these new bronzers here. They launched a little bit early on Charlotte Tilbury's website and one of the shades already sold out, which is nuts. I kind of had a feeling though because this is going to be a hot product. So if you want it, I would grab it now. Um, it is coming to Sephora though, I think pretty soon and should be at some other retailers that also sell Charlotte Tilbury, but I noticed sometimes it takes a little bit to get to Sephora and Charlotte usually launches first, but link is down below the early access if you guys want to snag one of the shades because I think there's two available now, medium and then also tan. Um, it looks like fair sold out and also deep so there is a four shades in total with this launch so like i mentioned earlier this is charlotte tilbury's like first cream bronzer she's done her liquid bronzers the hollywood contour wand which i actually really do enjoy as well so i love her complexion products i love her powder bronzer so i feel like i'm gonna like this too i did swatch it a little bit earlier taking a little instagram reel and i thought it was a really nice formula uh something that i would like it's not like too creamy but you'll see in the try on but anyways here's the packaging you guys so I bought two shades because I just didn't know what to go with and right now I am self tanned so I did buy the shade fair and this is the packaging here so very beautiful and this is described you guys know Charlotte Tilbury she always makes the biggest claims and she always describes her products just very outrageously so this says my new face and body cream bronzer with hyaluronic acid and sunshine pro vitamin D3 for a beautiful healthy looking beachy bronze glow it's humidity proof sweat proof and it says to lightly buff onto skin and blend with the beautiful skin bronzing brush i did not buy that brush because i have a lot of good cream bronzer brushes already that i prefer so here we have the packaging charlotte tilbury always has gorgeous rose gold packaging and then the back looks like this it just says beautiful skin sun-kissed bronzer and then here is the bronzer i did swatch this already so i did dip my fingers in but it looks almost like a powder when you open it and then you kind of do your little swatch here and then you can feel the creaminess so right now I'm swatching the medium one here so this is medium swatched and I'll go ahead and kind of blend it out a bit it does have some good blendability so definitely maneuvers pretty well now I'll swatch fair and this is a very drastic difference you guys will see so um, fair actually is super cool toned like this is more warm and fair is just so cool almost gray looking so that's what it looks like and then swatched i'll swatch it right here you guys can see how different that is oh my gosh it's crazy and then it blended out so those are the two shades i bought fair and medium to try out now i do have self tan on as i mentioned so i feel like the fair is not gonna look I don't know. Maybe I'll try both and see what happens. But fair is definitely going to be what I would gravitate towards when I don't have self-tan on. So I have not applied any other powder, any other like cheek products yet. So I thought we could just go ahead and demo them. Oh, let me tell you guys the price. So it's actually $55 for this bronzer, which is pretty typical. It is a luxury brand, so it's going to have the luxury price point. But let me tell you, at least my powder bronzer, 100% worth it to me. Let's go ahead and try out the fair shade first. I'm just going to dip my bronzer brush right in. I'm going to dip a little bit onto my hand first just so I don't oversaturate my brush. And then I just kind of like to work it into the skin like so. So I'm just kind of doing some stippling motions here. And we'll do it a little bit into the hairline 
but wow, this is really easy to apply. Super creamy. I thought it would be a little bit more hard pressed because when I swatched it, it seemed like that, but that is like the most beautiful natural like glow bronzer. I wasn't sure the fair would work for me right now, but I feel like I'm really going to like it. So this is just like the natural look. It kind of blends in with my skin, but just gives us a little something. All right, so I'm going to wipe all that product off here and we'll do the medium. I will do the same thing with the medium here. I'm going to dip some of that product onto my hand just to, so it doesn't get completely all over and just stipple onto the cheeks. Definitely you can tell a huge difference in the medium that's going to give you more of that contoured look which i do like i like to see my cream bronzer a lot of people love like a really natural cream but i like to be able to see it and not blend away which when it's too natural i usually don't like it so so far this is looking good i love this cream uh, bronzer brush from bk beauty the 106 it's perfection um, that's why I didn't buy the Charlotte Tilbury one because I just didn't think I would love it as much. You guys, they both look so good. I think I'm going to have a new favorite, which is really not a surprise, but I was a little bit nervous just because I can be very picky with my creams. There's the Fair for natural medium. Gives us a little more dimension. I, I really like these. I'm glad I bought both colors, honestly. Let me go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and we'll talk some more about the cream bronzers. So here it is with the full look all together. I added a little bit of the Pinkgasm uh, like blush wand and some cover star lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury as well. But yeah, I really like how easy this was to use. Really enjoy both colors depending what kind of look I'm going for, but it's flattering. It's not patchy. It seemed like a hydrating formula as well, and it's the kind of formula I like. So I actually swatched them next to some of my other favorite cream bronzers in my collection to just kind of compare. So first up we have, this is definitely the lightest in my collection, and that is the Fair Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. This is next to the Makeup by Mario stick, which also leans more cool, but this is a lot darker this is in light medium and then this swatch here is actually the charlotte tilbury uh, contour wand which i also really love this one is fair medium which is also darker a lot darker than the fair from the cream glow bronzer and then this swatch here is the cream that's in the patrick ta this is one of my favorite formulas as well i feel like this one's pretty similar in formula at least the cream to the charlotte tilbury maybe a little bit more stiffer but they're very close but not in color really this is she sculpted and then we have starting the sun kiss glow medium from charlotte tilbury swatched next to the say sun melt bronzer in light bronze here which is pretty light it's not as cool as the charlotte tilbury one up here but it's still very light in color very natural this one's ultra ultra creamy the Charlotte Tilbury is not as creamy as this one. And then I swatched it next to Rare Beauty, which is a little bit more creamy as well, but that one's definitely like a stick bronzer, so not really the same formula. But formula-wise, it also reminded me of the Tarte Sea Breezy Cream Bronzers, which I love. It's one of my favorites. I feel like they're comparable. Um, Charlotte Tilbury might be just a little bit more creamy, but I did swatch the Sea Breezy from Tarte and Seychelles down here. So that's just a little comparison of all these different ones. Honestly, I don't even have the same shade match in any of them which is really cool but yeah i think that's pretty much all i have to share it's probably a little bit of a shorter video but definitely run and go get this bronzer i really love it it's easy to use with powder it doesn't get too patchy or anything but i always recommend using your cream products right after foundation before you set the face but once i set everything down it still looks just as good. I feel like it shows up. It doesn't blend away, but it still looks natural. And I can't wait to try it out for summer. But if you're wanting more of like a glow or expecting that, I probably wouldn't say that this is that. Although I don't feel like a lot of cream bronzers offer a glow. They just kind of give you more of that natural look. Um, and will be so pretty with different skin tints and stuff. But I'm really happy with these. So let me know your thoughts down below if you'll be picking these up. I'll have the early access link down below, but again, light, the fair is sold out and the darker shade. So medium is available though, which I do have on this side and I thought it worked really well, honestly. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.